Hello, hello, hello guys and welcome back to Joe's Ventures and today we're doing an episode of Planet Zoo surprisingly. We're going to be doing a Planet Zoo mod spotlight so we'll be looking at a bunch of mods that have come out for Planet Zoo replacing a bunch of different animals and new skins and such and it's weird because um, I think because Planet Zoo is such a new game and a lot of the animals are really well made and very interesting I really like how they did the animals of Planet Zoo it's almost perfect I think that a lot of people have been a little bit more hesitant to download mods and such. But I think there's been enough now that we can have a real good episode and have a look at some mods that have, people have made. So first we'll be looking at... Who will we looking at first? We've got these few little exhibits in here. I'm pretty sure this next one's by Pure Winter. Yep, Pure Winter. Just making sure, making sure I get all the names right. A lot of them are done by Pure Winter, and some are some other by other people. So this one's first Pure Winter one. We have got frogs in here. There's like five or six different frogs. They replace either golden frogs or the lumens poison frogs. But here I've got one of the examples here. We've got a little blue dart frog, which is from South America not too different from other types of frogs of course oh, need to get back in there not too different from other frogs uh, poison dart frogs of course I mainly just notable differences this quite bright uh, color in quite blue as to ward off predators to say hey I'm poisoned leave me alone so yeah, there's a bunch of different ones. This is just one of the more notable ones. And the only problem is that you can only have probably two at a time. If you have one that replaces the golden frog and one that replaces the lumens poison frog, you can only really have two at a time, which kind of sucks. But I think that'll improve in future with uh, Frontier trying to work on making more skin variations available, which will be awesome. Looks quite cool. And so now we'll be moving on to another one done by Pure Winter, of course. Here we have got a few morphs of iguanas. So here we've got the fire morph for the green iguana. Morphs are just different colors that you get in nature if they've been selectively bred and such. So here we've got a morph for the green iguana. This is the fire one. Believe it or not, it is pretty fire if you look at it. It's a quite. We've got that orange down here with the white face I think that was really good real nice contrast so this is the green iguana we have got the pied there we are this is the pie pied one you can see that we have the black along the back and different black spotches along the white body kind of looks like a cow but that's the pie ball it's kind of a similar thing looks quite good there's a couple other ones and you can have, there's four different for each species, and you can mix and match as you like, but you can only have one at a time. So, that sucks, but it's quite cool. And people are able, even to, able to add these. Let's see if we can find another one. Camera's a bit like... There it is. This camera's a bit like a bull in a china shop. It's quite nice. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to move on to the first one. This one isn't actually done by... Um, this is by Nicholas Ryan, Lion Rider. He made uh, this guy here. Now, this is replaces the female African buffalo. Or the Cape buffalo, if you like. And is called... Let me proceed to butcher this. It's uh, a... White Sudi or White Sudi, and uh, a type of Aoki cattle that come from Africa. So it's a domestic breed. They're quite famous for having these real big, thick horns. And uh, yeah, they come from Africa. They were some brought along for Germany or the United States around like the early 60s and such. And they just became like a standard breed over time. What's really interesting is that they come with a bunch of different colors and actually there's a specimen of this species, or not species, a breed, 
of a bull named C.T. Woody, who has the widest horn circumference out of any cattle, with a horn circumference of 103 centimeters, which is very impressive. So, yeah. This only replaces the female, so you can see we've still got a male and a calf with us. Very nice looking. We got to see what we get more of it. So we still got the beautiful bull here. Very happy. So now we're moving on to the next one. This next one is also done by Pure Winter. We've got an Arctic Fox. Now there's two versions of this Arctic Fox. You can get the fluffy version, which I got here. It looks extra fluffy, because who doesn't like extra fluffy? And the less fluffy, that just makes it look a little bit more normal, or could represent a summer coat, even though it's white. So you see a little here, we can see the changes. Not as quite, little softer features, more bushier tail, and longer body. You can't really change the sizes, so it's still the size of an arctic wolf. You need to make it a bit smaller to be a normal wolf. And, I mean an arctic fox. Right now he's pooping. And look, we've got ourselves a puppy. And they're quite cute. Got the real puppy features. Run, run, run. It's quite adorbs. Going for a drink. See how you cutie. Little fluffy boy. Yeah, cutie cutie. Okay. Now don't these look quite nice? I think they look quite good. This replaces the Arctic Wolf. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about this one. Quite nice looking. So now we'll be moving on to the camels. We can see here, this replaces the female battery and camel. Here we've got the dromedary. Which is characterized by just having this one hump and living in the desert of like Saudi Arabia. And it's actually been domesticated. We can see here that it's What's really changed is just the hump and the, uh, the fur around here. It's just not as long as the male over there. So you can see a nice look at the female here. We go compare it to the male. So we have the male here. A lot hairier, a lot fluffier. He's also got the two humps. So yeah, not too much has changed. Though I think a few of these animals are going to be added in the future anyway, and the rule is you can't really have a modern animal that's a DCLC content, so you kind of have to get rid of it once it releases. Though there is always the um, thing, because this game's so young, it's only have been out for a few months, there's still a lot more potential for it to have. So, uh, so we might see the dromedary camel and any number of these species coming as normal DLC in the future. Okay, so now we'll be moving on to the bighorn sheep. So we can see here, we're going to start with the juvenile. It's really, the doll sheep and the bighorn sheep are closely related. But you can see here the, um, it's really only changes in the color. We can see that instead of having just a pure white, it, there's also like white around the muzzle and the backside. While well, the body is a lot more brownish, grayish. That other one's quite nice. We can see the baby. We'll have a look at the female. You can see this distinctive stripe going down the back as the uh, butt lightens up. And also on the muzzle. Looks quite nice. No model changes on this one, just mainly skins. See the horns going there. See if we can find our big male. Looks like he's over there. Having a feed. Now you can see Yeah, you can see the distinctive like the grayish on the back and the white light tail around the backside. You can really see, you can also see his big distinctive horns. The bighorn sheep are quite famous for those big rutting where they just run into each other. And that's just such a cool animal. Found around, all around North America. Well, not all around, but... In the, uh, they like to be, they live in like Yellowstone and places like that. Very nice animal. Kind of hope we get this one in game. Such a cool... Really cool when we can actually, like, add new animals instead of having it to replace something. That'll be a fun day. So that means we can really go ham with what we want. But then again, this kind of modding is really in its infancy, so we'll just have to wait. 
So next we're going to be moving on to... We've got an extinct animal now, believe it or not. I believe this one is also made by Pure Winter. This is... Uh, let's see if you can find him. There he is. This is a quagga. And you can see here, the really only major difference, because there's a subspecies of plain zebra, the back's a lot more brown. And the reason for that is, is because if you look at a normal plain zebra, I'll have to move over here, normal plain zebra, these guys live in a lot warmer areas, since these guys often live around Central uh, Africa or Eastern Africa. They have, it's a lot warmer there, and also there's a lot more insects, they biting insects that could be an issue for them, like butterflies. So they have this really just strong distinctive patterning to be able to better regulate their body temperature and to help deter insects. So now, since it's a subspecies, these guys live in South Africa, where it's not as quite as warm, because it's obviously further away from the equator. These guys have uh, less distinctive stripes and also this more brownish patterning. And I also just learned that recently, that was a cool thing to learn. I really like these, uh, these quagga. It already replaces the male stallion, so you can have your normal zebras in any plains. And in fact, there's even a group of people trying to resurrect them by breeding them back from zebras that live around the Cape. So that'll be pretty cool to see, see if we can breed back the quagga. I just want to get a few shots of him walking around, moving. He's just being lazy right now. Oh, now it's getting up. Are you going to hang out with your females? Oh, it'll be really nice to see a nice comparison. You can have a feed. See, look, the animals in here are just incredible. I love this game. I haven't been playing it much, but you just you appreciate it. It's just such a feat in terms of animals and video games. I really tried to make it as... What's the word? Innovative as possible. See, so plus this padding as well, that's just so cool. You can see the normal plane zebra over there. The Since the quark has a subspecies. Hopefully we get to see these guys back soon. That'll be fun. Now we'll be moving on to another extinct species from South Africa. Here we've got... Where is it? We've got a blue buck. So blue bucks are closely related to sable antelopes, which is what they replace in-game. They lived in a very specific area in South Africa, just like at the bottom of the coast around there. Very selective feeders. They specialize in... Real spe specialize in grasses and such. We're not too dissimilar. They really have this like a grayish, bluish grayish. How they got the name, the blue buck. They've got this bluish grayish coat that covers them, and they only became extinct the, around the 1800s. I think just due to overhunting and such. And yeah, it's sad to see them gone. Very beautiful animal. So this is a. Uh, is this the male? No, it's the female. We have a big 100% male that we managed to snag. So I want to get a good look at him. So here we see this is the other female. Here's our big male here. He's a bit of a he's a beauty, isn't he? He's got a bit of a disastrous eyes. I just want to wait for him to move out so we can get a good look at him. In the sunlight. You can really see the patterning. It's not too different from a sable antelope. They are closely related. Yeah, it's sad to see this species go. Hopefully with the extinction and stuff happening in the next century or so, really nice to see them come back and roaming South Africa once again. Very nice model. So next, what have we got next? We've, next we've got a new skin variant. So here we see... This is... Where's the male? Here we are. This is uh, King Cheetah. So what happens sometimes when a... Uh, Cheetah is born, 
often the uh, spots will often kind of like join together like this. It's like some sort of form of pseudo melanism. It isn't quite like you get Black Panthers and such. It's not quite as extreme. But here you can get like different lines and such when the spots connect more often. It looks real nice though. I really like how this came out. You can see the lines down here. So just the spotting just starts to look a little bit more like stripes. Let's see if we can find the female. This female is a good comparison. You can see it's quite different. You can see it's just splotches there on her, her big male here. You can just see how it's changed. A lot more noticeable. Bigger spots, sometimes stripes. And we can see... Uh, oh, I don't want to do that. No, that's dangerous. We don't want them running out. So you can see a little baby juveniles. Quite cute. One interesting thing about baby um, cheetahs is that they mimic honey badgers. And honey badgers, as you know, honey badgers don't give a shit. So that's how they protect them from predators. That's a real cool little fact. I thought that was awesome. So next we'll be moving on to the... That's the male, I think this. This is a uh, saltwater crocodile. I'm pretty sure this is the female, yep. Yeah. Supposed to look like the American alligator. And you can really tell it's mainly just a uh, crocodile retrofitted to look like an alligator. It really doesn't have the. Uh, it has the colors. The skull's just been changed a wee bit. Mainly just the skull's a little rounder. I think that this could look a lot better in time. Just made a little bit chunkier. What's she doing? She, she looks like she's been grumpy. You alright there? She's a little grumpy. But you can see baby crocs. They're quite cute, aren't they? Looks like they've just spent some time in the mud while I made them. So they're having fun. Quite cute. See the animals in this game are just so cool. I don't know what the female is up to. Miss, Miss Alligator. Ooh. Quite, quite cool. And then I think we'll reach up an ultimate. So what we've got in here is Jaguar. It's also done by Pure Winter. Here we can see this is the male. Replaces the Bengal Tiger. You can see there, I really love the patterning of this one. We have an asleep, quite cute. See all the different spots on here. The Jaguars are obviously from South America. They're very, very big, powerful cats. And this replaces pretty much everything about the Bengal. This is the male. He's hungry at the moment. Let's have a look at the female. Here's the female here. Not quite as big and bulky, but still looks nice. Be nice when they add one in the future. I reckon this animal would eventually come to the game, because it's kind of like a quintessential South American animal. And I feel like they might do a South American pack sometime. So this this would probably be the best animal to put in it. Such a nice animal. And then we also see little cubs. Aren't they cute? They got their spots and they're adorable. I think the fur shader needs a bit of work though. It tends to break a wee bit. So now the little cubs can have a feed. Watch this nom nom nom. Cuties, 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 cuties. So yeah, I think that's probably about it from what we can see. Um, so yeah, these are some mods. I'll put the links for them in the description, of course. And if the, you guys like this enough and there's more people making mods, I'll definitely put up some more videos. So yeah, okay. Thank you guys for 1,000. We just hit that today. I'm really, really grateful for you guys for subscribing. And I really hope you like my content and I really want to put out more and create more fun things for you guys because I really enjoyed making these videos where we just talk about animals and different gameplay things it's just I like to 
I really enjoy it and I'm glad you guys enjoy it too so really guys thank you for that so if we want to get to next 5k or 10k you guys have got to like and subscribe and I'll see you around bye bye